Hey, congratulations. You spent some time, you've invested some money. Today's the day you're going to take the keys in your hand or perhaps a brand new property that you're going to take handover off. Congratulations again. Who's going to help you with the handover? And do you really need any help? I'm going to give you two main reasons for you to actually think about when you're doing a handover. I'm going to give you two main reasons. And before I do that, if you're looking to purchase a property in Dubai, hit the link below. There is a team of advisors who can help you. Let's see if we're a good fit together. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and obviously show some love in the comment section. When you're taking handover of a property, there's a few things you need to understand. OK, so I'm going to take you into another industry. OK, the car industry. OK. Now, it was a long time ago, almost 20 years ago, when I read about how the Japanese car producer or car manufacturer, uh, Toyota, specifically for the Lexus brand, produced cars. So they had taken a lot of the human element out of the car production situation, and it was almost done by robots. Even the windscreen that was actually put onto the final car that after it was assembled and everything was done by robots. And even the tiniest, tiniest bit of glue that was remain, that remained as a remnant used to be flicked off and cleaned by robots, okay? Now, you might say, well, what about the high-end cars, okay? I've seen documentaries on Rolls-Royce being built. They're very, very strict to a certain standard, even if it's done with hand and care it almost, the cars almost roll out in perfection, okay? As opposed to a property, specifically in Dubai, we're not at the stage where cars, where properties are being printed by computers uh, or 3D printers. So we do have a lot of variations for two reasons. One, because it's humans. Humans are sometimes okay and prone to error. The other is the skill set varies okay now granted there are some developers who are at this level of providing and producing quality some developers here and then some developers here but regardless of this at the time of handover you want to be careful with all three and you want to have a professional in there actually safeguarding what your investment i always tell people on an apartment that you've spent about let's say one point Okay, let's even say this, okay? So let's even say you've spent about 6 million dirhams. Let's say it's a 2,000 square feet apartment, okay? 2,000 square feet apartment. Generally, snagging should be only 1.5 AED per square foot. So for a new apartment, which is 2,000 square feet, you're going to be looking at paying about 3,500 dirhams per square foot. Who do you pay this? You pay to an MRICS or RICS, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors Professionals in Dubai who are licensed to snag and quality proof your apartment, okay? And if you pay them 3,500 dirhams on an investment of 6 million, for me, it's a no-brainer. Why? Specifically, on a new property, what essentially happens is a new property is within the one year warranty period so if you catch any problems in the beginning before you've taken handover what you can end up doing is get things fixed in that one year period obviously if you are not taking handover of a new property but a resale used property you can still use a professional for your handover the only difference is generally speaking you might do it before you sign the documents to stake the property on so that you can identify any problems that might be might come afterwards okay guys now i'm going to quickly give you what is involved in the handover generally speaking what all are you going to be doing right number one you're going to be coordinating sorry you're going to be coordinating the, with the Dubai and Electricity and Water Authority. You're going to be coordinating with the government, developer, and the snagging and inspection team, okay? So there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of work. And after the snagging and inspection team gives a 70-page report, you've got to go back to the developer for remedies, okay? So the remedy, which means fixing the property, is what the developer has to actually do. 
All of this professionally handled by my team will save you not just tons of time, but also a lot of money further down the road. Okay, guys, listen, if you need the service, get in touch with us. If Even if it not, it's not us, use a professional who will do it properly. Not just a cosmetic handover where they just walk in and say, oh, I see that that tile is missing a chip. Well, yeah, the developer can fix that, but you want somebody who's gonna go into the roof, actually go into the detail to understand exactly what's been done correctly and what's not been done correctly so that they can rectify things in the proper way, all right? Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. If you wanna work with us, there is a link below. Last but not the least, show some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006, and since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.